the women's 200 metres individual medley SM7 classification. World record time is 2.48.43, set way back in 2010 by Mallory Wegerman from the United States. The Paralympic record has stood for the last four years from Jacqueline Freeney from Australia. Great reaction time there from Nikita Howarth. We know we've seen her swimming so quickly off the blocks and she's capitalising now. So settling in nicely with her, the difficult butterfly legs. Such a gruelling endurance event, the 200 metres IM. And it's even across the pool with Howarth, Jordan and Meehan in four, three and two respectively. So New Zealand, USA and Canada looking to take the early lead at the first 50 metre split. Well, I don't think uh, Nikita Howarth or Courtney Jordan should at any stage be discounted, but neither should Sarah Mihain. She's very strong in the fly. She's a bronze medalist at the World Championships in the 50 fly, and she's got a very strong backstroke, and she's got the endurance. She's often doing cross-country skiing. Her younger sisters, Hannah and Heather, are actually competitive, competed internationally at cross-country skiing, so she's got the endurance and the added uh, benefit of the aerobic exercise behind her in the pool. But at the moment, is uh, Courtney Jordan hanging on to second place. Battle for third pl first place will be, you imagine, between Jordan and Nikita Howarth. But the bronze medalist in the fly is world champion over this distance in 2013 and 2015. And Nikita Howarth wants to make this race count. She wants to claim her first Paralympic gold medal, and she wants to do it in an event in which she is the world champion. At the moment, there's not a great deal in it because a fantastic swim from Chan Ying going in lane six sees her back into contention at the halfway mark. Well, we knew that Zhang Ying was going to have a strong backstroke and it certainly proved to be the case. It was enough to put her into second position. Howard, though, was fantastic off the wall. She had a great turn, timed it perfectly and pushed off into her breaststroke and as a result has grown her advantage to, well, it could well be about four body lengths at this stage. She's in front of Jordan, who's swimming well in lane three, but if she's not careful, she's going to drop right out of gold medal contention. The silver medal battle, however, is going to be extremely enticing as Howard swims into the wall for the 150 split. She's going to be feeling fantastic. She looks like she's doing it easily and she'll almost certainly be able to bring home gold from here. Well, this is a very, very good swim. The breaststroke leg by Nikita Howard was thoroughly impressive and certainly the New Zealander is looking well set to claim the title in the women's 200 individual medley. The battle for silver has now seen Tess Routliff make a, a charge for it. The New Zealand-born Tess Routliff might make it a New Zealand-born one too, but Tess Routliff has made a, a big challenge here, and certainly somebody who shot the prominence at the Parapans in uh, the 200 IM, and Tess Routliff is doing something extraordinary in the pool. She suddenly moved up into medal contention, is holding on for the silver, but the focus on the gold medalist here by some margin as well. Nikita Howard bringing it home strongly. She'll be outside her best, I believe, but she's had a wonderful swim, look at this, touching ahead easily to take home the gold medal and a fantastic performance from the Canadian Routliff, touching in for silver, what a lovely finish from her and Courtney Jordan from the United States will take the bronze. In the end, Routliff had a fantastic swim, particularly over the final 25, she really pulled ahead of Jordan. But